good everyone you're welcome back to my channel yeah it's been long that i made some videos but uh sorry for that yeah i have been busy with uh, a lot of things so i will be continuing with my tutorials you know using godot engine and today we'll be treating something very very important understanding the visual scripting system now if you go online you see that uh, a lot of people uh make videos of coding but there are people who do not have that ability to you know code or they don't really want to go into coding so um visual scripting is something that they want to actually explore so uh, it's a way of being able to create uh visual scripting basically it's a way of being able to create uh video games and for the programming part of it without actually writing code so you use things like you know blocks of shapes that represent code so if you look at what we have here so um the, the topic for this our train our tutorial today will be um understanding the visual scripting system in without engine so i want to actually show you how robust how wonderful you can be able to actually uh, do a lot of things with Godot engine and that's the video scripting uh, feature of it now basically if you have never used video scripting before it's a uh, very simple thing if you want to just activate it or you want to create a new video script you just right click on the node you want to use so maybe another time we'll talk about the nodes so if you actually attach a script if you click here you see that there are native script gd script and and then the visual script so the visual script is basically what we use okay for you know artists basically non-programmers uh, that want want to actually create uh, video games so you actually tell it where it's going to go to so uh, i'm not really going to create a new one now i'm going to um, do something first i want to just show you how this thing goes so if you look at here we'll have a function we'll have a condition and this action that will be pressed okay so but what i really want us to do okay let's go ahead and actually create a, a new script so i'm going to create a script for this uh particular scene so attach script and uh let's call it uh, uh general i'm going to call it general scripts so i'm going to call it general and uh, if i click here I will tell you where I want you to be safe. So if I have a, a folder that is a call script, I can actually put it there. So I'm just going to open that and create. Now I want you to actually observe what is happening here. When you want to create um, um, scripts or you want to create blocks of code, if you look at here, the first thing we'll have here are functions. So if you go to function, this is actually where you're going to actually bring in functions that already exist here. Okay. So uh, it's already there in, in Godot, you just have to use them like process when you're starting our game, physics process when you're trying to actually run something um, based on time and physics uh, um, system of, the, of Godot. So you have the enter uh, tree, there are, these are different uh, functions you can be able to use, okay? And you can actually create your own function here. You can click and then create your own function and you can just, you know, uh, name it whatever let me call it my function so let me still go ahead to actually just get out the function here and um see i have my own the function that actually came with product and my own the function okay now i'm not going to implement any particular i just want you to see uh, how robust the full game engine is here we can create variables here yeah? so you can create any variable let's call this uh, I just right clicked and delete and then we'll have the type so I can go for int and the value if I want to give it a value let's say 5 and uh, that's basically that I can export it once I export it it will actually appear here when I select this particular uh, node all right so let's actually go ahead and do that so I'm going to close that so if you select here you actually see new variable so I will change the name to like I just call it life. I'm going to double click on it and call it life. Okay. So uh, basically, when you are using functions, you enable to actually uh, you can put up a block of code you know, inside a function, and whenever you call the function, it does a particular thing. Then for the signal, is something that um, if you actually click this, this is your own signal. You actually have other signals you can actually put here. So let's call this um, uh, shoot or uh, shots okay 
So maybe uh, you're short and you want to, to send a signal. So you can actually still use that if you look at that. All right. So uh, these are basically, uh, you can also dra uh, drag out the variable to and this to get the value of the variable that's get life. Okay. Okay. So now other things you could do, here you can actually get more notes. That's the interesting part. Now, if I click from here and drag this into this place, I can be able to actually get a uh, um, different, um, or like call it um, nodes, okay? That uh, can be, able, I can actually have nodes. These are more like uh, properties and, and variables and things I can be able to actually use to communicate or to program with this particular one here. So if you look at what we have here, we'll have the show, this is more like a function. You look at this is a function and we have uh, strings and different kinds of uh, uh, tools we are going to be using for programming so this is basically specific to this one so when you actually select anything let's say for example um, I want to go for let me see if there is anything interesting here let's say show okay so you have show enables rendering of this change visible to true so you can use this to actually uh, show it. Maybe if you actually um, turned on the hide, okay. Maybe you actually turn it off so that you actually hide. You can be able to turn it on from here. So you can use that too. Now I'm going ahead. More things I actually love about this uh, product engine uh, visual scripting. For example, let's select this kinetic uh, um, kinetic body here and. Within this place, all these things here are actually block of codes. I can drag them and drop them inside here. And you see, I can be able to actually set uh, axis uh, lock motion. I can be able to you know, check out things, properties. And even as I'm doing that, I can still be able to you know change a few things within them. All right? I can do a lot of things inside them. And I can change the assign to add instead of assigning, I can make it to be adding the properties. So beyond this uh, properties where you actually the inspector where you actually have different properties of that particular uh, visual script that you're actually using. So you see here is a function call and here is uh, an emit signal. You actually have also here. So let's say for example I select this, I'll actually have a uh, signals I can actually be able to call. So if I want to call a signal, I can say, okay, whenever the mouse you know, touches it, okay, I want it to do something. So I can connect it to the player and connect it. And it's going to create that function, this signal for me too. So more on that, we can actually do um, a bit more interesting thing. Like from here, look at this, I can drag from here into this place. And this for preloading scenes. So basically, what I actually wanted us to understand is that you can basically uh, bring in things from here. Okay, you can bring in things from there. You can bring in. You have your groups. You can actually create groups. So we won't really go into that because we're not really in that for actually what we'll be doing. So you have all these things. You can actually drag in anything you actually want into as a code. Let me do that here. From here, I can drag this to set things visible. So basically, everything here is uh, something that you can just work with. So I know that some people uh, have reservations for the Godot engine, but trust me when I tell you that Godot engine has a lot of things to offer. I really mean that you can actually use it to create something very, very beautiful. And I wish you luck yeah, in this beautiful journey. I'm sure you're going to create something very wonderful. So just go on and believe that you can be able to actually create things. So uh, maybe the time I will be showing, if you go to my channel, you actually see uh, some games I've actually built with video scripting, 3D games, not just 2D games, you know, but you know, we're still working on that. So I want you to actually check it out and um, I will want you to also subscribe my channel and like my video so that other people can be able to actually see the awesome power of visual scripting.